Uh, good evening. Now that uh, Steve and I are back in video making mode, I thought I'd like to discuss this problem with you, which you all share, and that's the enormous cost of water and sewer services in the city of Kawatha Lakes. Uh, we are proposing a new way to actually charge and bill people for what they use, and we want it to be pay for what you use. So there it is, water and sewer, pay for what you use. Now we have already made a video on this topic which dealt with a more detailed examination of where the costs come from. But in this one we want to look at a unit cost system. Now we are accustomed to buying liquids by unit volume. It doesn't matter whether it's milk or motor oil, that is common practice and it seems to me and probably to you to be absolutely fair. If you buy two bottles of water you expect to pay twice as much. Now many of the municipalities have introduced a fixed charge which goes on before you have any water at all. You can see this is from 2018 and Guelph charges about a third of what we do in the city of Kawatha Lakes. Now that was $681 in 2018 and this year it's going up to $721. Now we want to look at Markham because Markham has got the things right. They combine the water and wastewater together and they charge you one price per cubic meter. So there it is, it's $4.47 for a cubic meter. Now, most families will use around 200 cubic meters, so on that basis, they would be charged $893.80. Now, if you go to the city of Kawatha Lakes, you see the first, the fixed rate, $721. Then you have to add together the water rate of 271 and the sewer rate of 146, then multiply those by the 200 cubic meters, and you come up with $1,557. And that's shown on the side there. The red one is the city, and Markham is the green one. This seems to be a much fairer way of doing things. Now, put in a nutshell, a Markham resident pays about $660 less than we do, and we pay 74% more than a Markham resident. And our fixed cost increase, that is going from one year to the next, is about 6%. And that's three times the rate of inflation. The fixed cost brings in more than $12 million a year. And it can be increased without consulting the taxpayers. Now you may ask, why would they want to increase that fixed cost? Well, it is because their salaries come out of that money. So front-loaded charges are wrong. I think they're ethically wrong. We pay for something, but we do not get it. So let's have a look at what is actually written in the bump we get from the city. Here it is. A significant portion of the city's water and wastewater expenses are fixed and do not vary with consumption. Consumption has been steadily decreasing, but the cost to operate the system does not correlate with that decrease. It is decreasing, as you see in my red line, because people are trying to save money, so they reduce their consumption of water. Now, currently, 35% of the city's revenue for water and wastewater is through this fixed rate. Now, here is their threat. This percentage may have to increase in the future if consumption continues to decrease. So if all the people try to save a few dollars by using less water, then that will get them nowhere. Because all the city will do is to increase the fixed rate. So there it is for us to think about. Now, the operating costs continue to rise because the salaries increase every year. Even if no water was produced, the cost will still rise. And let us always remember that they start with water which falls out of the sky and costs them nothing. 
and this means that the water rates will always rise to ensure that salaries are paid. The efficiency of the system and the productivity of the staff are never considered. So, it is time to change to a price per unit system. These are its virtues. It's honest and it's transparent. You no need to read the fine print. Reduced consumption saves more money. So, if you save a cubic meter of water, now you've saved $7.78 instead of 4 bucks. And it's a good thing to reduce consumption because it's good for the environment. Now, potential newcomers to the city and entrepreneurs can now factor in the true water costs more easily. And the annual increases in water costs are clearly seen and they will be directly linked to salary increases. No more hiding salary increases inside the fixed cost. It's time for a massive protest by the people to get that system transparent, above board, free from questionable manipulation and ensures that we only pay for what we get. We pay for what we get. That is how business is really done. Get involved, write to your councillor, start a petition, stage a protest, ask questions. Now, as I said before, we've made a previous video and there is the link to it in some water rates. And this is our website. And on our website, you'll see a whole host of good videos which will inform you of what's going on in the city. This is one of those strange things which can show mathematically that the less water you use, the more it costs per unit volume. And that is outrageous and cannot be justified. So when this comes up, and it will come up, I'm sure, at future elections, we hope you will support the candidates who says, let's have unit costing for our water and sewer system. And once again, I encourage you to share this video and to give us whatever support you can, uh, morally or come out to see our shows and things. Uh, as you know, if you uh, followed what I was talking about in the last election, we are facing an uphill battle against the city to bring in some of these reasonable ideas. And for that, we really need your support. We need you to take these videos and share them with your friends and particularly to like them so that we get a big support base. And also, I hate to mention it, but we could really do with some financial support. Thank you very much.